Hi everyone, welcome back to more of the room, the third room in the series. So today I'm going to try to get the alternate endings. I haven't looked up completely how to get them. Um, but I did see on one of the things uh, about the clock in the study. Which we saw in the last video and we saw the lines on the clock. Um, and we couldn't really figure it out. It turns out we have to wait until it gets to the 15 minute mark. 15, 30, 45 and then on the hour. And then a little drawer opens up. Uh, so we're going to have to wait 12 minutes before this opens up. But basically... When this hand strikes one of these lines, this door opens and there's a key. Um, yeah, and I wasn't willing to wait that long to see if it actually opened up. I guess I should have. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to be waiting for. So I'll be right back as soon as it gets closer to the time it's opening. Alright, it's almost time. We got 60 seconds. And I never noticed before, but this clock actually syncs with your real time clock on your computer. It's like right now it's almost three o'clock in the afternoon that I'm playing this. And I realized that while sitting here staring at this. We just have to be quick because I think we got 60 seconds once it strikes three to do what we need to do. Or at least get in there to see what kind of puzzle we need. Or maybe it'll just give us something. We can just snatch something and run. The problem is I don't know what I'm looking for. There we go. Fantastic. So loud, too. Oh, four, one, two. So, four, one, two. It was on the little pendulum thing, it had numbers. There we go. All right, we know exactly where that needs to go because we've been hunting for that crystal. Uh, was this way, right? All right. Oh, fantastic. Another one of these. I wonder what that arrow is up there. I'm guessing it's the way that I need to go. Okay. Not exactly lined up. Maybe it's where the light is. Aha. Okay. Mysterious artifact. This kind of looks like 
what I needed at the very end when I went through that doorway and I was on top of that tower, whatever it was, you had those weird towers with this weird shape on it. Okay. Let's see here. But the problem is I thought there was two of them. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I gotta read up on this. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I've looked it up. Because I can swear there's another piece we're needing. And there's something... This next one... Oh my god, it's just an endless... Uh, endless journey... All right, so we need to go back to the fortune teller box. I was here in the red room. There was something on this that I did not see. Okay, so we need to look under... Neat. There was something... I didn't even realize that there was something in it. Oh my god, that was so stupid. Small mechanism. So I wonder if now if we need to go to the study. Yep. God, if I just checked that slot, it would have been fine, but I didn't. I thought it was empty. That's what sucks about the game, because in real life, you would actually see it or be able to feel around, see that something's in there, but the game, I couldn't tell. Okay. What in the hell? That stuff was not here before. I don't even want to say what it looks like. Door is locked tight. Okay, that did something, but I don't know what it did. Okay. July 30th, Maggie Cox was a charlatan, and there is no such thing as a spirit medium. Everything she believed was a lie, I know this for a fact. I concocted the lies. How is it then that she alone can resist me? If she will not rest in the prison I have built for her, I shall build one deeper still. Huh. Okay. Why does it look like there's a drawer or something? Drawer is locked tight. 
How? How is that possible? And what is this stuff? Okay, let's see here. In the upper top right hand drawer of the desk has a false bottom. Oh, that's what that was. There is a yellow switch, slide it to the back, retrieve the handle. Use the handle on the drawer on the left side of the desk. There's a switch on the right height hand side of the interior of the drawer. Slide it and solve the sequence of puzzles. What? Oh, these slide now. Okay. There's the other side. Okay, let's read this note real quick and then we'll go back to her. July 23rd. The house is turning in on itself, warped by the knoll. I find myself forever traveling in circles, down corridors that turn back on themselves. On themselves. I see the doorway machines to bypass the maze, but the crystals run low on energy. I must run a new power source soon or be forever trapped. Okay. All right, let's go visit Madam. Madam Fortune Teller, whatever her name is. Okay, which one is she going to choose? The imprisoned? What? I've already got the imprisoned. A crank wheel. He deceives you. <laughs> yeah, we already know that. He got us the first time. And honestly, if I'd been playing my set by myself, not recording, I probably would have waited on that clock, but I don't think it really would have made a difference because I would never have found that token or that key inside that little token slot. Okay, I thought this was an exit. This totally was not where I thought it was going. A key. A 
seeing it. Why can't I look at the bottom of them? July 27th. That interfering friend of AS continues to ask questions, and I should like to ask a few of my own. How did they overcome the null? How much energy resides in that brilliant soul of theirs? I would take the last of regs of energy I have stored to bring them here, but they might also be the key. I have no choice but to take the risk. And nothing there. Oh, what the hell? Okay, so we're trying to do some kind of math. So, a seven. So I guess we're trying to get to 21. So I'm guessing we got zero at the start, right? So seven times three is 21. And then uh, that'd be 29. That's not enough. But if we do times four, that's 28. And then plus three would be 31. I guess we were correct. I'm guessing. Okay, so 17. No, it's not this one, correct? Because 11, that's 16. So that'd be 8, 19. So what if we do that one? That'd be 12 and 17. Right? Yep. Wow, this is a long one. We're trying to get to 30. All right, so two times two is four, eight, 11. Well, that takes us back, so that's no good. So let's start at eight. Eight times two is 16. Uh, so this is 16, 20, 23, 18, that ain't going to be good either. What if we do 2 times 5, be 10? 17, okay, 29, 24, that still wouldn't be 30, so this would be 40, 47, That would be 30. Uh, but then you add that and that's not good either. What if we do this way? 
So 8 times 5 is 40. 47. 50. Fifty to forty thirty-three. I'm getting confused. <laughs> uh that eight oh eight no. Eight times five, yeah, that's forty plus seven plus three is fifty minus seventeen, yes, yeah, thirty-three. So we're still not good there. Maybe I'm thinking about this wrong. Maybe we need to work backwards. So that'd be 28 minus five would be 23. So how can we get 23 up to this spot? Sixteen, twenty. I think that does it. So that's sixteen, twenty, twenty-three. No, that's not right either. Damn it. Yeah, I, I messed up because I'm thinking wrong. So minus twenty-eight. I would need 33 right here with this path. Yeah, there's just no way to reach that path. I don't think this is right. So let's try it from this path. So 28 plus 17, that'd be 45. So I need 45 right here. And I would not be able to do that. So let's see. Thirty-eight from this path. I need thirty-eight right here. That actually seems doable. So forty. Not be able to do it that way. Sixteen. Thirty eight is what I need. I can't do it from that way either. Okay, let's try from this path. Twenty six. I would need twenty six here. Have I been able to get a twenty six? Sixteen twenty six. I think this is it. So that's sixteen plus seven plus three minus five plus nine. There we go. We got it.
I don't know if that math made sense to anyone else, but I was just trying to work back from the first two and then work up from the bottom to make them meet in the middle. All right. Library. shaped handle I wonder if I put this wax cylinder in there whoops doesn't seem to be working And I seem to have lost the wax cylinder. Oh, well. I'm sure it was supposed to go in there. We just may have to turn on that phone thing again. Okay. It's always strange when you don't know what a puzzle is going to be like and then suddenly it starts throwing stuff at you like that. Then you have to quickly kind of memorize it because you're like, okay, I was not expecting to memorize something so quickly. Like if someone told you, okay, focus, pay attention, memorize the order, that's one thing. But when they just start throwing stuff, then it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Calm down. All right, token number two. I know there's four tokens. But other than that, I don't really know much. I saw when I looked up to see what the next step is in the alter alternate endings. It was a long list of steps. Okay, we got the escape. No, no message about how he deceives me. Nothing. To be perfectly honest, I don't know where this crank goes. Hmm.
I have no idea. I'm going to have to look that up. You won't use this yet for the next couple of items. Metal object. There's a table, two posters. If you look at the bottom of the poster. Okay, I've got the wax cylinder. Take the metal object to the green room. By the crystal device, you can see a wooden box. Okay, we put we put the orb under the poster and pulled the contraption. We got an opera stage should appear. Go in and retrieve the wax cylinder. Take the crank handle from earlier to the green room. The green room. And attach it to the base of the phonograph. Am I not in the green room? Or am I reading this wrong? I think it's supposed to be greenhouse. I, th I think that's what they're trying to say is the greenhouse. Yep. That's what they're trying to say. <laughs> okay, okay, wait. What was that phone number? 1935, 1975? I don't remember. It was on the phone. I was completely wrong. 1795. <laughs> Okay. I'm glad I went and looked. All right, now we're going to go answer the other phone. It's going to record onto the wax cylinder. Then I'm assuming we go back into the opera house. And that's going to do something. Okay. That's perfect.
Nice. August 3rd, a breakthrough. The portal remained stable, but only took but only to look through. Touching the thing causes the image to fade. I need more power if I'm to pass physically to the other side. The landscape is beyond extraordinary. Hmm, okay. All right, lady. I honestly don't know where that goes. I, I honestly can't remember. It has been a couple of days since I played, so maybe I saw it and just forgot. I figured we had to go up here to the tower, but I don't recall there being anything there. It says go up the elevator, back to the tower, and look at the railing in the center of the room from where the safe used to sit. Oh. I saw this, but I had no idea what that was. Wait, what? Okay. That's, that's not good enough? That's like perfect. What are you telling me? But that's not perfect. There we go. Now I wonder if we can use that on the tree. Because I've been waiting for the key for the tree for a long time. That's like the last thing I have is the key. Or that tree thing to solve.
What? <laughs> okay. Let's take a look inside to see what's going on. Seriously, I can't click on that top one. Okay, I figured that was too easy. What else is there? Like, I swear there's something up the top, but I guess not. I can't interact with anything else. I want to try one thing. And then I'm going to look up the answer. So I turn it quick 180 there we go There, it did it. Damn. About time. That box in that tree was driving me crazy. All right, our last fortune. Is this puzzle? Oh, it was not. It was just take an item. Well, we killed her. Maggie's gone. Maggie's dead.
Well, that looks like something. That also looks like something. Oh. I wonder if this means we're finally good to progress to the next level. We still have the screwdriver. I don't know what that was for. The four endings can be completed in any order. Unlocking the alternative endings revolves entirely around the use of the two mysterious artifacts in the final puzzle room through the dark tentacled doorway from the central central chamber. Okay, for each of the endings, you first have to solve the final puzzle on the table. It's the same puzzle each time. Okay. Then when the final door opens, two pillars will also rise up from the table, which we saw. These two pillars fit the mysterious objects you found, or artifacts. For the escape ending, place the octagon, octagonal artifact. I'm just going to talk about this. Facing the gravestone from the table, solve the mini puzzle through the portal that appears. Then come back out and press the button that's been revealed on top of the artifact. The green light will shine from the artifact to the gravestone. The final door will be a normal brown shade of brown shade of wood. Okay. Okay, so you do one artifact after the next, and then both artifacts to get the very last ending. Okay, let's do this. It's going to take me a minute to remember. <clears throat> how to do this. Uh, 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 um. That's right, I remember this one. Okay. Back, yeah, this has been out three or four days since I finished this game. My plan was to play it the, completely the day after I finished it the first time, but then the election happened and I've just been pretty bummed and just haven't gotten around to it. Alright.
Oh, this puzzle. Okay, that wasn't too difficult. Okay, we're going to do the escaped first. So we need to do this one. There we go. Got it charged up. Ah, let's go through the wooden door. There, if that tentacle gets you. destroy everything I was not happy I must have poured over a thousand maps great home isn't just gone it never existed I sometimes doubt my sanity and others are starting to agree with me the quest can only land me in an asylum no matter I find curiosity has lessened its grip on me and life's other interests are returning Whatever it was that drew me is gone. I can sense it no longer and I finally feel free. Was there ever a source of Null or was it always just bait in the trap? I know, I know now that I will never know and that knowledge is a secret sweet, is a sweet, sweet joy. <laughs> okay. Got the escape. All right, let's get the next one, which I think is release.
Well, let's do this again. I just fucked up. <laughs> oh, how did I screw this up so badly? Okay, I, I can fix this. There we go. Similar thing. We're going to turn to the right. I can rotate it either way, okay. Wow, this one's a pain in the butt. There we go. God, and I got to do that a second time. They should have really chosen a different door. So that you can see you're getting a different ending. God, please don't let this be the same ending. I may have just misunderstood the instructions. I don't know if this letter will reach you. I only know that the wander 
Oh, the warden will take my bribe. You must come at once. When we opened the gateway, something was waiting. It had always been waiting. Now it is here. Soon we are doomed. I know you have no reason to trust me, but you must. You are the only one who can help. You are the only one who knows. You are the only one who will believe me. I am in Bethlehem. Find me. Huh. That seemed worse than the last one. Escape seemed to be the best ending so far. Now the very last ending. We gotta do both puzzles. the last time ever doing this puzzle. I've, I've messed it up. There we go. Let's do this nightmare of a one first. God, I hate this one so much.
Now we can do this one, which is easy. difficult thing about this one is just the mouse movement. Wait, what? Okay. If it's on, turn off the blue light. By clicking the button on top. So we want this one off. That makes no sense. For the lost ending, place the artifacts on their respective pillars and solve their mini puzzles. A button should now be revealed on top of each of the artifacts. With each turn on a light beam, one green, one blue, to shine onto the gravestone. If it's on, turn off the blue light beam by clicking the button on top of the star-shaped artifact. A little window will have popped up to cover the light beam of the star-shaped artifact. Inspect the window closely. And use the screwdriver on it and slide the panel cover. Now turn on the green light and the blue light. Well, that's new. Doorway should look like something like mud rather than a distinct wooden door. Unlock the achievement exile. So we've just been transported to Mars.
Okay. Six hours to get all the endings. I, honestly, I like the escape best. That's the best ending. That last one, that sucks being stuck on Mars. You're literally lost on Mars. But there is a fourth game, so we'll see where that picks up as. So, awesome. Thanks for joining me for this game, and I will see you next time with the fourth installment of The Room. Thanks for joining me, and see you next time.